What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name's Tim and today is a special day for me. We start the Super Duty build. Now, do I know what I'm doing? A little bit. You know, a little YouTube, a little Ford Forum, a little DMing people. And that's the great thing about this big account that we have on Instagram, not here. We have like 26 subscribers. But the uh, Instagram, I can DM really anybody because there's like 70,000 of you and somebody has done this. Um, I'm the only one I know of that's done this to an F-150 or is going to. Um, so we'll see how this goes. It may turn out like trash or it may be the coolest thing I've ever done. Um, there's a lot of reasons I'm doing this build. Um, the first one is the twin I-beam is just a death trap. And if you lift that truck at all with twin I-beams, it's awful like you need that shackle kit or whatever they call it um, to really balance that thing out and I don't have that and I don't want to install that and I don't know I'm weird so we're gonna go with the super duty build we've got a 2008 rear end here um, went down to Orleans Indiana and picked that up this weekend on the way to a truck show I picked that up barely made it back I I live in like the Indianapolis area and I drove all the way down to like the Kentucky, Indiana state line to get this. So I did it all in that truck. Once again, that'll be the truck that gets the, the axles under it. Um, it barely made it back. I, I'm just proud that it got there. But I've got the rear end here. I'm hopefully getting the front end here soon, but I'm gonna try to document as much as I can through this build. I wanna, I really, really just wanna give guys confidence. I'm not very mechanically inclined. I mean, if you look at my truck, it looks okay from a distance. You get under that thing and you're like, this kid hasn't changed since high school. I've got chicken wire for my exhaust. I'm gonna expose myself right now. I got chicken wire for my exhaust, okay? It's hanging up in there. The truck is spray painted. Um, It gets worse. I, there's so much wrong with it, it's not even funny. Um, but I've never had, you know, a lot of cash flow to build one of these. I just got out of college this year. I have played basketball the whole entire time I was in college, so I didn't really have a whole lot of time to sit down and do a build. Um, I've obviously done wheels and tires and a lift, um, some simple stuff. I did the lift during COVID last year. So, you know, we all got kicked off campus, was that, no, two years ago, two years ago. So I put that lift on, we all got kicked off campus, couldn't play basketball anymore. So I occupied my time and put that lift on. And uh, now I'm out of school. Uh, I've got time, a little bit more, I've got money. Um, so well, not a lot of money and, and you'll see that as the build goes on. That's why I'm doing it one by one because I can't afford everything at once. Um, but we're going to try to unhigh school this truck a little bit. That's the main goal here. Um, get this thing looking good. It is spray painted and I'm, I'm sorry guys, but I think it's going to stay spray painted. And the reason is, is once I start getting this thing on all the axles on, it's going to be sitting wide. It's going to have wide wheels on. I'm going to be rock chipping the crap out of that thing. So I don't really see a reason to put on a decent paint job. I, I just, I don't. So we're probably gonna keep it spray painted. If things get, turn out well and it's not bad, maybe we'll get a paint job on, later on down the road. But for now, we're just gonna keep it spray painted. Um, it's cheaper, it doesn't look that bad. And I've had people tell me it doesn't look that bad. So we're gonna keep it, keep on keeping on with that spray paint. Overall though, the main goal for this truck right here is wheels, tires, the bed's getting pulled off, we're gonna get the gas gauge working, we're gonna get the windows retinted. Um, they look all right from outside, but when they're inside, I don't like it. So we're gonna get the windows retinted, we're gonna pull the bed off, kind of repaint, maybe do a little Bondo work on the bed 
New steering box in the front because it's an F-150 steering box and I don't want it to be handling an F-350, um, you know, front end. So new steering box, um, headlights, we might change the headlights up a little bit. I think that's all I really want to do. Oh, cab, uh, bed liner, like bed rail, whatever those are. Yeah, right there on the, on the bed. I have, my buddy gave me some uh, rails to put on there off of his Dodge first gen, and they fit pretty good. I just kind of had to bend them, and they look all right, but we're going to get new ones. Um, that diamond plate's kind of rusting out a little bit. It doesn't look very good. So those are the plans, um, followed by an exhaust, um, a real good exhaust. My, like I said, my exhaust is hung on by chicken wire. We got to change that. So... Yeah, stick with me. This is my first day. What I, my goal today is to take that wheel off. And I say that, well, look, I put it on the jack stands like an idiot and just should have took the wheel off while I was out here. And I don't really want to redo all that. So uh, take that wheel off somehow. I don't know how long that wheel's been on there. But we're going to get that done. The uh, mounting blocks for the the leaf springs to to lay on the axle need pushed out i believe i can't remember exactly i i, I know they need moved but i think they're getting pushed out because the super duty is more narrow um leaf springed in the back than it is on the obs which is weird um, i know the front end frame is on the obs is more narrow than the super duty O five plus um, years, so I found that really interesting. Um, but we're gonna we got to get those cut off, remounted. Um, I don't weld, so got to go find somebody to do that. Um, plus, we can't hold a welder in here unless we had a, a generator or a weld truck. We just wouldn't have the amperage for that. Uh, I'd like to start grinding all this down. Some of this, the shocks are are leaving the chat. Um, those are going bye-bye. So here's what we're working with right here. It's obviously seen better days. So e-brakes leaving the chat. These mounting blocks for the leaf springs are going to need moved out, I believe. A couple of, like an inch and a half maybe. I'm not real sure. I measured it. I knew. I do know they need to move out. Um, so, got to get that done. Shocks I'll probably keep. They look. I'm just kidding. These are gonna leave. Sways are gonna leave. Um, pretty much getting stripped down to just the brake lines and uh, the blocks here. So, everything's leaving except for you know rotors are staying. Or no, not the rotors. The uh, the the uh, brake systems pretty much all staying here. Um, it looks pretty good. Now, we won't really know until it's all hooked up, of course, but uh, this is what we're working with here on day one. Oh boy, stiff, so. Goal for today is to mainly just get this thing all scraped up, uh, primered up. I'm not sure if I wanna put like a, a spray paint on there. Like I said, we're, this is low budget build. I'm not trying to build a SEMA truck or anything like that. I don't have the money nor the time. And uh, so probably do like a little spray paint and primer. Um, or I might like brush paint something on there. I brush painted my frame on my truck before the four wheel jamboree and it didn't look half bad and it still looks pretty good. So we might, we might do that. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see. But if you've never done a build before and you're looking to do one, I'm telling you right now, I, as of like 18 years old, I didn't know really anything about trucks. I literally just, I got a truck and that was it. And then I fell in love with it. I wanted to fall in love with how to work on it and how to do my own th things on my own, uh, as far as building it, as far as, you know, making it my own. So I had to educate myself and that's what I did and I've got myself to a higher level. I'm still so far away from, from being good. 
uh, I know the basics. Um, so I'm pretty much going to do this whole entire swap by myself uh, straight off of YouTube. You literally can learn anything on YouTube and uh, just talking to people. And I have a lot of, a lot of uh, people on my Instagram that I, I know I can reach out to firsthand. Um, and if, if you have any tips on how to help me with this build, like I said, I'm doing it on an F-150. Not very many people I don't think have ever done that before. If you have, reach out to me because that would be awesome. I'd love to know exactly what you did um, and, uh, and show me some tips that you, that you may have done that helped you out. But for the most part, if you have any tips, reach out to me. Go to the Instagram. That's where I'm more active. Um, I don't even know how to turn the comments on on this thing, so we don't mess with that. Right now, I'm just trying to go through this, give you confidence to do your own build. You can watch me make mistakes. I know a lot of people are like, oh, this, the owner of First Class OBS doesn't know how to do this, know how, know how to do that. Yeah, you're exactly right. There's a lot of stuff I don't know how to do. But I'm also not afraid to jump in and do it because at the end of the day, 99% of the population doesn't even know how to change a tire. How to, okay, 90%, let's do 90%. But change a tire, change oil. So you're already a jump ahead. Don't be nervous, jump into it. Um, you're gonna have a lot more pride at the end of the day if you do it yourself. Um, anybody can go out and get things done. Anybody can go out and get a loan. Um, we're doing this all with my own money coming in. Um, it's not even like merch money. I really don't make any cash on that. Uh, my, my goal is to just get that brand out there as much as I can and and there's no better feeling than driving on the interstate and you see uh, an OBS truck with first class logo on the back of it. So got a little off topic there, but just wanted to throw that out there. So I'm about to get started.
So I just finished up painting for the most part. Uh, it actually turned out pretty good, way better than I thought it was going to. Um, only thing I need to do to this rear end, once again, is the whole entire rotor needs to come off over here. Whole entire rotor needs to come off over there. Uh, brakes are good, they look good, but I'm really happy with how this axle turned out. Um, I use this paint, and I'll, sh I'll show you. I'll show you what paint I used. This, uh, I mean, say what you want, it actually works pretty good. It's better than spray paint, and that's pretty much what I've done a lot in my life. But this, uh, Rust-Oleum, I got it from our hardware store. It's a superior durability. It's oil-based black paint. It's gloss. Um, look, I mean, I like barely used any on this whole entire axle. And I'll probably end up doing like the whole entire frame um, with that stuff. So it all, it looks really, really good. I mean, I gotta get that wheel off. I, I should have. I should have taken it off earlier, but I didn't, and now it's like seized on there, so I have to take this axle down and then turn that wheel and get it off, um, and then I'll really let the frame sit solo by itself for a little while, um, but other than that, that wraps up day one with uh, the rear axle. I've got a drive shaft that I think my stock drive shaft will fit. I don't know, um, but we'll we'll see. If it doesn't, I don't really know what to do, um, but we'll figure it out. You know, one piece at a time.